Hi all and welcome to Toy Hunting at Exeter West Point Toy Fair. Cheers.
sea time, sea time you. You get these sort of like toy moments out of sometimes. Too much, too much bright colours. <laughs> so you've got to spread it around a little bit to get it all on the table.
Rufus
small left. They are 20 quid each. 20? Yeah. Okay. Are these the ones that are 15? No, 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 those there, they're only they're a 10 or 8. Go on.
got on that? Uh, I think he's with it. What's it? Oh, four each, two for six. All right, cool, mate. Yeah, I saw all that. Yeah, you had him in the pot, Yeah. I went down on Sunday to Exeter to a toy fair run by Bulldog Toy Fairs, I believe they're called. 
Um, down at Exeter West Point is the venue. It's like a little arena area they've got down there. It's about a three hour drive, just on the three hour drive from my house. So my uh, dad's been bugging me to go there for a while. He's He actually likes his trains and dinkies and all that. So I had a free weekend this weekend, so I thought I'd go down and check it out. And I have a little haul from it. So uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, David at Toy Ploy, who I bumped into at the fair. Cheers for the badges. Uh, I'm looking forward to your video, mate. You do some real cool restoration videos um, for vintage toys, which is good to see. Uh, yeah, really nice bloke. Great to talk to. So uh, thanks for the badge. I'm definitely going to put that on my uh, in my selling kit. And uh, yeah, nice meeting with you uh, and your, um, your other half. It was really nice chat. Uh, top bloke, if you're not following him already on Instagram or on uh, YouTube, please do subscribe. I'll add the link to the uh, below, but I, I assume you guys are already. Uh, he's a good, great account to follow. Um, so yeah, thanks mate, and we'll crack on with the toy finds. Um, so we'll sort of do it in a kind of order. So the first things I bought was this really cool cyborg icons. Uh, set, which is really nice. I uh, don't really have any much of this. Um, I've kind of, I've, to be fair, I've bought it for resale value, so uh, I've got it at a decent price. So that will come with me to sand down a few more box bits, which is good. Um, yeah, nice, really nice set. It comes with a lot of accessories. It looks like there was a few in the season, the series that they did there. So I'm not, not too, don't know too much about the Icon series. Um, but there, it's a nice figure, the nice sculpts, and uh, lots of accessories with the figure. So that was my first bought buy, and I also um, let me sort this out. I also picked uh, this Toy Biz Electro with it as well. I've got a little bundle, uh, nice little figure. It's got his electric sort of zappy bit, which is cool. Normally don't have that, so it's a cool little. Uh, Toy Biz figure for the uh, for the stall. Uh, second, I oh, what's the card? Lawrence at Toy Planet was there, and I picked up a lot of stuff of him. So first of all, I picked up these two, which was a animated Batman Poison Ivory. There you go. Uh, a little bit sticker, damn it there but I'm sure I'll clean it up but it's a nice figure decent uh, it's the kind of uh, airtight packaging on this not a bubble but decent and I got Raz Al Gore so again from the animated season uh, really cool figure comes with lots of accessories um, yeah so he did that for me first of all but I uh, kind of uh, didn't purchase much more from him to begin with because I had to kind of uh, walk around and everything. But uh, this sort of Kenner line Batman figures, they're, they're quality, they're cool figures and they're popping up and they're getting very popular. So after that, I went off into the uh, toy fair and um, sort of, yeah, just walked around for a bit. Lots of trains, lots of cars, and then I did eventually find a stall selling figures. Which I purchased the yellow bear zord from the ninja range uh, Power Rangers from season three. I've got the frog, the legs, and the crane, the head for this. So I'm just going to build it up and build another ninja zord up. Um, that's what I do, if you know me. So it was good. Uh, it was two. It was four pound each, two for six. So I got that one. And I picked up um, Blue Zio, Rocky, Blue Zio. Uh, I think I already got one of these in the uh, for sale, but um, so I don't think I've got any weapons for him yet. But you know, it was just a bulk out the deal, really. So I carried on walking round. Uh, I saw a really cool Wicked uh, Turtles truck. Uh, sort of not truck, sorry, sort of a vehicle, and I was on an R about it, and I put it on the back burner of a kind of. I will think about it, and I carried on walking round and stopped off for a uh, bit of lunch, 
with the old man with coffee, and one of the punters walked in, and he already uh, he had it in his hand, so that uh, that cleared that up. So I went back to Toy Planet Lawrence, and I picked up these wicked GI Joe figures. So these are the uh, Star Brigade one. So I've got a Countdown Combat Astronaut. It's cool. So these are from the uh, 93 line. The cool things, I didn't even know they, well, they didn't even know they made space figures really, but I suppose they all jumped onto it at some point. Um, but yeah, cool figure. Uh, obviously the Hasbro's, the 93's. I've got Roadblock here. Again, a nice cool figure, a nice card. Lots of accessories. I've not really got into much G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, it's something that I sort of looked into after watching the Netflix episode and where do you start? Where do you start? And I've got another one which is Payload. So again, all part of this Starbridge or Star Brigade line from G.I. Joe. All of 93 Hasbro. You know, there's a cool set you can get here. So you've got some vehicles for it as well as you would for G.I. Joe's. But I've never really got into it. I've got some Action Force that I sell, and a few that I had as a kid that I didn't even know they were Action Force until when I started getting into toys and everything. So it's really cool. My first sort of jump into GI Joe. Um, I've got no connection with them really. It was just after watching uh, the toys that made us their show. It kind of intrigued me, and uh, but. After seeing some of the prices for some of them, I sort of stayed away. But I got these on a good deal from Lawrence, so cheers, mate. Thank you for that. Um, well, the old man was rummaging through a train collector's stuff and like looking at train stuff. Um, I noticed in a box of random stuff, he had a Mars Rider, which he did for me. So I bought that off him. I sold all mine at NEC, so it's pretty cool just to get another one. Isn't exactly expensive. Bit of a arm action there. Uh, relatively clean for a uh, sort of figure that was in a rummage box. It's got his antennae, which is cool. So um, yeah, that was it. So that was a grand total of ninety-five pound spent. Um, so I thought it was a really good day. If uh, if Toy Planet wasn't there, I didn't get these. I might have been a bit disappointed from what I purchased, but. Um, Apart from that, no, it was a uh, really, really uh, a good day and all. Um, all this, uh, it'll be with me at NEC, so if that's on at NEC, sand down in a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, 95 quid. Uh, better than a um, better than nothing, I guess. Better than going down there and finding absolutely nothing. So Exeter, uh, West Point, Toy Fair. Uh, if you're in the area, you're local to it, you're only an hour away, whatever, hour and a half away, go check it out, it's a good little fair. Um, for us people, like me, I'm based London Way, I wouldn't travel down there again, because it was just such a long journey for relatively nothing, even though there were toy sellers there, just the journey wise it wasn't really worth it, but um, because the... Uh, because my dad wanted to go and see it, he's a big train collector, it was worth it, so I suppose if you are a train collector, and dinky toy collector, it is worth it, and have a little day out in Exeter, so um, yeah guys, that was a little haul, a little video, um, I hope you enjoyed watching the walk around for it, and uh, well, until next time, catch you later.